Sir, are not the non-vegetarians helping to balance animal population by eating them? Now, this is a selfish uh, explanation that uh, non-vegetarians give for themselves. They say, if we don't eat uh, goats and uh, bulls, they will increase in population and uh, the world will be full of animals. So, by killing them, by eating them, we are maintaining the balance. This is a stupid argument. You go to your forest, an African forest. There, man does not go to eat those animals. But you can see a wonderful balance being maintained among animals. Balance of population. And you can notice one thing. Herbivorous animals, I mean vegetarian animals, they breed abundantly. For example, I take the case of a pig. It's a herbivorous. It eats roots. For own delivery, it brings out uh, 10 cubs, 15 cubs like that. But if you take the case of a carnivorous animal, a lion or a tiger, it gives out only two and that too only once a year. So, by this sort of uh, variation in the ratio of population, animals balance themselves while eating one another. Nature has its own way of balancing the population. I would say that uh, even if the whole humanity becomes vegetarian, the nature will find its own way to balance its population of animals. So man need not go to help nature for that. If he wants to eat meat, let him. I don't forbid him from doing it. Let him eat as much of flesh as he wants. But uh, don't give such foolish reasons that uh, he is balancing the population of animals. No, not at all.